Oh, hi there. So I've been trying to do a project each night, or at least attempt one. Um, and tonight, Haley wanted me to modify this elliptical machine uh, to run on a wall circuit. It runs on D batteries, and we didn't feel like buying any more. So this is a real simple thing that electronic novices could even try, um, as long as you make sure the voltages and you have enough amperage from the the uh, power supply. So what I did was I opened it up. Um, just a battery compartment, and it ran run on four D batteries. Each one is 1.5 volts. Uh, 1.5 times four is six, so six volts. So I bought a six volt transformer um, power supply on Amazon. It supplied one amp, which was more than enough. Um, in this case, I had to either guess. I, I pretty much guessed, but then I verified with a multimeter. If you use a multimeter and touch two leads. Um, to a circuit as it's going, it, you can measure uh, how much current is flowing. Uh, but anyway, transformer's fine. So I took it apart. Uh, I've got pictures on the inside. Don't really feel like doing that now, but I added a little um, 2.5 millimeter barrel, female barrel I had lying around and fits this guy perfectly. So let's check it out. Blam! Um, blam? Not blam. Okay, dirty contact. I'll have to clean that out inside. So yeah, it's got a fan. It's got all sorts of goodies. And it goes faster. And off. Yeah, so basically, uh, you can do this to anything that runs on batteries. Um, I'll show the picture of the inside in the description. You just solder some wires to the plus and minus terminals of uh, where the batteries are going to go. You have to make sure that they're going in a line, uh, in series, like front to back, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, or plus minus, minus plus, or yeah, minus plus, minus plus, minus plus, minus plus, kind of like how we're all used to putting them in, in a, uh, alternating like that. And I bought these female terminal de dealies on eBay forever ago, about a year ago when our TV broke, because I needed to make that um, a weird project and it was like, I don't know, ten dollars for fifty of them or something, not much. And the power supply I think was maybe five or six dollars, not too much either. So uh, pretty handy thing if you want to make something wall powered that runs on batteries. That's it. Okay, bye.